Now, if you want to plant some raspberries, what cultivar should you plant in your garden? Well, here to answer that question for us is Dr. David Dye from the Department of Plant Sciences, and he'll tell us about his research on raspberry cultivars. David, welcome to the forum. Okay. Thank you, Don. Thank you for giving me such a good opportunity to discuss our research projects uh, in Plant Science Department at North Dakota State University. And uh, today I'd like to uh, mainly talk about uh, uh, raspberry cultivars and it's, it, it may uh, fit for production, either commercial production or, or produce raspberry in your backyard. Uh, so we we know that uh, North Dakota is one of the uh, the leading states in agriculture, and we have several uh, crop species is is uh, produce the largest acreage and uh, and largest uh, yield. However, fruit production is kind of uh, limited, and uh, those two uh, figures shows you the acreage of the different kind of fruit species in the state. And based on the survey by USDA, that's a 2012, we ranked 49th, 49th in fruit production in the country. And we, we, we know that the left figure shows you the uh, acreage of uh, major crop species and the right figure shows you the uh, small fruits, particularly for raspberries, strawberry, and other small fruits. And uh, the reason why we we don't produce a lot of or commercially produce a lot of uh, fruits, and because uh, we know that we have a, a harsh winter, and also. Uh, a short growing season probably is one of the factors it may affect fruit production. And we also, uh, oftentimes, we also can face some unexpected extreme weather, for example, early or late frost and a strong wind, and uh, occasionally some hailstorms will damage fruits. And also, we may have uh, some irregular rainfalls. We got a lot of rainfalls in the spring. Uh, we probably have some uh, uh, drought uh, issues during the summertime. And in some of the uh, part of the state, and we have a, a acting soil, which with a pretty high soil pH. Okay, but we have a some advantages for fruit production in our state. For example, we have a short season, however, we have a long daytime and we can do a lot of things. And also we have a great uh, difference uh, uh, of the temperature between day and nighttime and which will help sugar accumulation and increase the fruit quality and uh, increase or enhance the pigment development on the fruit. On the fruit, and also we have a cool growing season. It may help us to taking care of some pests or or some uh, fruit species they like cool growing season, such as raspberries. And also we have a, a good sized farm stands and the backyard. So we'd like to do do those things and uh, you know do gardening can beautify your yard. And we also we have to get some fresh and healthy fruit to eat, uh, therefore can cut down your grocery budget. Uh, and also a great family outdoor activities, gardening years. And sometimes climate probably isn't a big problem compared to larger scale commercial fruit production. And here is a, a fruit species, and we we can see or we can grow sometimes uh, in North Dakota. A big fruit on the left side, we see apple, we see pear, and we see a few uh, peach trees and different kind of cherries, plum, and apricot, of course, and we have. And in the right 
uh, side, we have those are so-called small fruits, strawberry, raspberry, grape, and chokchuri, and, and also the other uh, small fruits. Uh, if we want to do some uh, fruit production or grow some small fruits in, 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 in North Dakota, raspberry probably is a very, very good choice. And the raspberry is a small to medium-sized shrub. Uh, it's in the rose family. And it, based on the color of the fruit, and we, we kind of classify the raspberry into three uh, different uh, uh, types, red raspberry, black raspberry, and the purple raspberry, which is a hybrid between red and black. And regarding to the winter hardiness, uh, usually red raspberry is uh, the, uh, has the most winter hardy, hardiness, and then purple raspberry and black raspberry. So if, if you see a, a raspberry in North Dakota, most likely it's a red raspberry or a cup of purple raspberry. Uh, raspberry uh, is good. Raspberries are rich in nutrients and uh, contains a high uh, content in fiber, vitamin C, and calcium. And also, raspberry fruits uh, have high, so called high ORAC, oxygen radical absorbance cap uh, capacity, and also contains high activity of uh, carcinogenesis inhibition. And the raspberry can be consumed as a fresh fruit and also can be processed and uh, as uh, some supplements to, in other uh, food, on food such as cereal, you can often can see some dried raspberry fruits in it. Okay, here is a very important uh, table shows you uh, different uh, fruit species or different fruits contains different level of ORAC. You can see raspberry, it's in the middle, it contains one cup. Uh, raspberry contains almost uh, uh, over 6,000 uh, micromolar uh, ORAC. And uh, in the top of the, uh, the list is the chok tree. Chok tree, uh, and we know uh, that chok tree is. Uh, uh, state fruit trees of North Dakota. And uh, I love chuck tree. I, uh, I've been working with the chuck tree for more than uh, 15 years. So chuck tree is number one in R O R A C. So go with the chuck tree. And today I mainly focus on raspberry. Raspberry likes cool summer and moderate winter. And however, some raspberry cultivars, particularly in in red raspberry group, they are hardy. They can tolerate the winter here. And we have a, a USDA hardiness zone three or four. They will survive the winter, some raspberry cultivars. And uh, raspberry uh, fruits are uh, so-called uh, perishable and usually uh, used as a fresh market. However, the fresh sales are largely restricted to the local market. So we kind of uh, uh, have a niche market for uh, raspberry here. A little bit, uh, some basics about raspberry. And uh, raspberry, based on the fruiting characteristics, there's two different types of raspberry. The first one we call the primal cane. Sometimes they're all called uh, ever-bearing raspberry which they produce fruits in the summer, late summer and fall on the current year growth. That means those shoes develop this year, they will develop the fruits in the same year. The second group is called a floricane raspberry and which produce fruits in the early or in the summer on the last year's growth means those canes developed last year have to be uh, winter hardy enough to survive the harsh wind here. Okay. 
And raspberry, it's a pretty tough, and uh, some someone called raspberry a kind of a weed. However, if you want to get a good yield, good quality, you still would like to use a uh, well-drained soil that contains high organic matter. And uh, sandy loam soil, probably it's, uh, it's, it's kind of very good for uh, raspberries. And the pH, soil pH, about 6 to 6.5, which most uh, tree species like that uh, range of the soil pH. However, raspberry cultivars can tolerate it's a pretty large range of uh, soil pH from 4.5, it's very acidic, and uh, to 7.5, it's uh, alkaline soil. And uh, planting and uh, we recommend, suggest in the spring and early summer planting and uh, would be better for those newly planted raspberries to grow, to develop a healthy root system and, and will enhance the uh, winter uh, or low temperature tolerance. Uh, regarding the, the training system, because we know that raspberry is kind of a vine and you need uh, some structure to support their growth. So usually and uh, we use a uh, trailer system and here so there's a T trailer system or V shape trailer system and we use V shaped trailer system in here, uh, our experimental field. And also in the you know, backyard you can either use trailer system or use so called hill system you know, the, the cr uh, clump together, gather together, some uh, canes, and also, and the, like uh, container production, also you can can use kind of a hill system or modified hill system. And for pruning, and here is a winter pruning, different uh, strategies can be used uh, for those two different types of raspberry. For floricane raspberry, because they produce fruits on the last year's growth, so you have to leave canes. Yeah. And however, for primal cane raspberries, because they can produce uh, fruits on current yield, so you can cut all the canes, more all canes down, and the second year they will grow out to produce if you the fruits, the different types of uh, pruning system based on different types of uh, raspberry. And uh, we do some research uh, at NDSU and uh, uh, basically we'd like to uh, assist or recommend some cultivars for North Dakota raspberry growers. So, Six years ago, and we got some funds and uh, did some uh, introduction of raspberry cultivars and uh, to field variation of those cultivars. And uh, basically, for winter hardiness, fruit quality, and productivity in North Dakota. And uh, those are uh, uh, our uh, cultivars we introduced or we grow them in the field for field uh, trial. And left side of that table is hurricane cultivar. Uh, uh, you can see the 10 uh, hurricane uh, cultivar and uh, in which the last three amethyst is a purple raspberry. Remember, it's a hybrid between red and, uh, and black. And royalty is a purple raspberry also. And last one, Mac black is a black raspberry. And the uh, right uh, column shows you that primal king cultivar, and, uh, which some of the pretty, pretty new cultivar. And the last one end is a yellow raspberry, or yellow fruit raspberry. And uh, this slide shows you the field setting of the uh, the field trial, and you can see uh, we use the V-shape uh, trailer uh, trailer system, 
and uh, also and in Abstraca, we a uh, horticulture research farm, and in the raspberry field we use so-called clean cultivation. There's no no weeds, no 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 plantings between the trans between the rows, and uh, it's pretty pretty successful. You can see it grow uh, very well, and uh, right corner shows you that uh, you may see that it's a black raspberry okay here is the results uh, uh, of the uh, field trial uh, this figure shows you the wind damage index of floricane raspberry okay uh, remember floricane you have to have the healthy canes they can survive the winter and uh, 10 different uh, cultivars and uh, if you see the shorter the bar the uh, higher the winter uh, hardiness okay you can see the first uh, uh, eight first eight cultivar and they have a pretty good winter hardiness even pre-root and less than 20% of the bud survived or died less than 20% of the bud died so definitely we will have enough buds for the year next year and uh, mac black that uh, uh, only one black raspberry some damage and meek last one which is a standard uh, cultivar of the uh, floricane raspberry in the west coast you can see we have a pretty pretty uh, uh, bad winter damage okay this figure shows you some promo cane raspberry the winter winter damage and you see uh, first a couple of uh, cultivars they have some winter damage uh, however, it's kind of a tolerate, and they still have uh, enough buds and uh, for fruit production. However, remember promo cane, and you can mow down even all canes died back in second year still have some uh, fruits. And this table shows you some fruit quality uh, based on our field trial. And this uh, table shows you the uh, floricane raspberries. And uh, you can see the first one is pre root. It's a very, very new cultivar, raspberry cultivar released by Cornell. And uh, it's the earliest raspberry cultivar so far here in the United States. And in Fargo area, and uh, we start harvest pre root in june middle or late june the very very early and then the boyan nova uh, carnia they are they are they are old popular uh, winter hardy cultivar uh, and you can see based on based on the harvest time or fruit ripening time and they are either early or mid season cultivars very uh, size and uh, some pretty good, some small, but these are based on our two-year results. And uh, SSC and here bricks is uh, describes the, the the sugar basic basic content. Uh, Ten is pretty good, and and uh, meek that's even even it's not hard enough. It's it's very high, and fruit firmness is another one. It's medium firm to very firm, and the flavor. All those cultivars have had a very good or, or good flavor. This one shows you uh, the uh, uh, fruit quality of Promo Cane Raspberry. It's in uh, 2016, and which which uh, we have we had not that severe winter winter damage, but uh, 2018 we we have some damage. Uh, you can see uh, Plana, which is the earliest Promocane cultivar, and we start harvest 
uh, in uh, middle of August are still pretty good. And uh, uh, June J is also, we can start uh, middle or late August. Uh, and uh, those are good uh, fruit size and uh, taste is also good. And, uh, and the fruit firmness also firm or very firm. Okay, so based on uh, the result and we uh, have had so far, and uh, we'd like to, 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 to put, I'd like to put some uh, cocktails here, which I just suggest you to try and uh, based on our field test. Uh, for example, pre root I mentioned that this one is the earliest uh, red raspberry cultivar. Uh, pretty winter hardy, even though you, you have some winter damage, but still it's tolerate, you can have a good yield. And uh, boiling, very hardy, early ripening cultivar, carny, good flavor, uh, good size of fruit, and winter hardy nova is, is very early ripening. And also some, some mid uh, or late uh, harvesting, such as Lothen, which is the Minnesota. Uh, cultivar, it's very hearty, it's, it tastes very good. And Encore, it's also, it's, it's not that late, mid-season variety. And also Amethyst, it's a purple raspberry, and which released uh, by Iowa State in, in, in 60. Very good flavor, someone very like it. And uh, big, uh, good size fruit, uh, have a very, very kind of a special uh, taste and uh, Pramo King cultivar. Those are three. And uh, Plana is early ripening uh, Pramo King cultivar, and we start harvest fruits in in uh, mid or early August. And John Jay, it's a thornless. It's only a thornless cultivar. It's good quality, uh, uh, good size. It's very good. And then N. It's a yellow fruit uh, raspberry cultivar. It's good flavors, very special flavor, good size. And uh, and those cultivar I mentioned, they all have a very good productivity. And the reason I uh, listed more uh, florican cultivar is because if you plant promocane, and uh, uh, you have the winter damage, even though you can more cut all canes with the new growth, those new growth still can produce fruits. However, remember we have a very short growing th season. And even Plana, we start harvest on August uh, uh, 10th or mid or early August, uh, majority of the fruits can be harvested, but still you will last some fruits for the first uh, fall uh, frost. So that's why we always recommend uh, use florican can because we don't need to worry about the, the early fall frost uh, if they can tolerate the winter. And also the last slide that we tried uh, grow uh, uh, some of the raspberry in, in, the, in the greenhouse or in the high tunnel. Uh, they grow very, very well and uh, grow vigorously, produce large, uh, uh, high quality fruits. So, so when you have the small greenhouse and uh, you may consider, or even high tunnel and in, in, in your backyard, you may consider to do container production. I will uh, promote a container raspberry pr production and later on probably. It's very, very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank uh, you. <clears throat> thank you, Dave. Mm -hmm. We've got some questions already for you. Oh, okay. Ben on YouTube Live asks, Do raspberries be something you can plant on the side of a field and use a manure spreader to fertilize and then dump the waste hay from the cows to insulate the roots for the winter. Plant the raspberries on the side of the field. Use a manure. Manure spreader to fertilize them. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good good point. And uh, we, we, I, we have another project 
And so to do organic production of raspberry, which animal manure is it's one of the very good fertilized sources, yeah. of course. And also cover with the hill or uh, the, the straw, the, the like waste hay. Yeah, it's def bedding. definitely will help protect the root system. So, man, so raspberries respond well to manure. But, but now, as far as that waste hay, do, the raspberries are pretty hardy. Do they need any special winter protection? But for for uh, uh, I mentioned that for those prorocane, you, you can move the primocane. Yeah, primocane. You cover with those straw will help. Yeah. Yeah, will there help. you go. Yeah. Um. What do you think? What can we do about that spotted wing Drosophila? In raspberries, huh? You didn't. Well, why didn't you mention that, man? But how, how about in this? Okay, do you see okay. Any cultivar differences as far as tolerance to the pest. Uh, at the beginning of the SW, at the beginning of the season, you can see some difference among the different cultivar. However, once the population of the the SWD increased to a certain level, they yeah, they okay. go every yeah. Uh, and SWD is an is is issue, but one thing I, I did not mention that, and uh, based on the literature or based on some information I got, and SWD basically cannot overwinter here. So it's a good news, and they have to be uh, from somewhere in the, in the spring or summertime. So if you can harvest, we do the uh, field survey, and I, I use the microscope to look at uh, the fruits. If you harvest fruits before uh, last year, before July 10th or 15th, very low chance to get the SWD. So, okay. so plant early ripening cultivar, which is, is is a good strategy to avoid uh, SWD in here, North Dakota, because they cannot overwinter, survive the winter here. Okay, that's a good idea. How about, uh, are there any test sites in the western part of the state, like in Williston, for example? Uh, unfortunately, no. We only 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 have the two sites. One is uh, in the Abstraca, which uh, it's uh, 50 miles mm -hmm. west of uh, Fargo, and uh, one field is uh, in, in uh, Fargo area. So. And there's a there's a field day at Absaraka. Yes. That uh, people can come out and yeah. see your planting yes. right there. Yeah, we have a field day in Absaraka, and also we have a field day here on campus. In, on campus. Yeah, also. yeah. In the past the two years, I I uh, discussed those on in, in, on the field day and. And if anybody was really interested in raspberries, they could contact you and yes. you, you'd, take, you'd go yes, out please. to the field with them and show yeah, them yeah. all your great research. Yeah, no problem. How about, uh, here's a kind of a technical question. I'll try to say it properly. When you measure the winter hardiness of your primal cane uh -huh. raspberry cultivars, uh -huh. is that related to the hardiness of the primal canes overwintering to become a flora cane? Yes. Okay, it, yeah, it, it, is, it is not the survival of the plant itself. No, no, no. Okay. If if the cane, last growing cane, can survive the winter, buds on those cane will have to break first. So you will have a little bit earlier yield than those new growths from the ground. Yeah. In the southern area, and oftentimes they leave the canes, even for, for uh, primal cane. You you mentioned with the variety prelude has, mm -hmm. for, has double cropping. What is it? What, is, what does that mean? That means they can produce fruit on last year's cane, and they also can produce fruit on this year's growth. So you can harvest for the period you start harvesting in, in, in late June. Yeah. And then you probably finished the first crop in late July. And then this year's growth, they will produce fruits in August. 
or sometimes you can start harvest the second crop in the late August. So the primal canes produce. Like yes, fall, yes, on pre, uh, pre-root. There's so a couple pre-root. of cultivars. They they have uh, uh, double, so double cropping. Okay. Mm-hmm. How does somebody know if their variety is a flora cane cultivar or a primal cane cultivar? If you want to test if 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 the uh, if if the flora cane cultivar, you can cut onto the ground, and secondly, you will not have any fruit because because they need produce fruits on last year's growth. If you cut trim all last year's growth, they will not produce fruit. And if the new growth can produce fruit, that's primal cane. That's a primal cane. Unless the cultivar, just you mentioned that the pre-root is double crop. That's a different that one. Yeah. That's special. So generally the primal canes, they produce fruit on their first year cane. Yeah, the current year in cane. Fall. In fall. So sometimes in the catalogs, they're called fall. Fall, yes, berries, yes. Whereas the flora canes are more typical summer berries. Summer berries. 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 And the primal cane, they, sometimes they also call it it's, uh, everbearing. Everbearing, yes. Yeah. Okay. When's the best time to prune raspberries, spring or fall? Uh, in our region, and we'd like to wait until the, the harsh winter passed. And until you can see the die back or, or make sure the buds are survive or not. So that means we already do pruning, so-called winter pruning, but it's oftentimes late uh, April or April or early May. Because if you wait till if, late April, uh, you, you can, can see, see the die back yeah. yes. and trim that off. Otherwise, you, you trim them. Uh, in the in the winter time and and you never know. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um. What about uh, you have to worry about cross pollination problems if you plant two different cultivars next to each other? Uh, raspberry is not uh, can self pollinate. It's not 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 have to be a pollin pollinator species. However. Oh, uh, cross pollinator may help the fruit setting, even may help the yield, increase the yield. So, yeah, grow one cultivar is fine. Grow more than one, maybe give you some good quality, good yield. But if, if I plant a red raspberry next to a black raspberry, I'm not going to get purple raspberries, right? It's only in the seeds. In only the seeds. Oh, the if seeds. if you if you if you if you germinate those seeds right. next year, you right. get so you don't have to worry about no. cross pollination. No. Um, besides the amethyst purple raspberry, are there any other of these cultivars that have limited suckering? Uh, you are regarding to to the uh, purple raspberry. We have a. We have a royalty purple raspberry, and uh, we we in our field it seems suckling is is not that severe, but based on literature, someone mentioned that it's very strong. Why did you recommend amethyst and not royalty? Royalty is still still uh, uh, winter hardy. Yeah. Royalty it has more winter hardy. No, no, no. Amethyst. Amethyst. Has more Amethyst. Winter yeah, we I do see. the test here. I see. Yeah. Um, do raspberries need bees for pollination to produce fruit? As I mentioned, no, but open cross pollination may help fruit setting and even may help the, the enhance increase the quality and the yield. Okay. How about uh you know, you have a few different trellis designs. You had the T trellis, mm-hmm. the B trellis, and the hill trellis. Mm-hmm. Is there any certain like why why do you choose the V trellis in yours? Like what what's the benefit from one over the other? Uh, v tra- V trellis system is kind of again again uh, wisely or efficiently use the space, and at the same time you still uh, pretty easy to to do harvesting. Raspberry usually usually is a manual uh, harvest. 
What's the difference between a black raspberry and a blackberry versus a dewberry? Ra black raspberry is a different species. Different species. Blackberry, black last, uh, raspberry is different from blackberry. Yeah. Yeah. Different species. Different, different. Blackberry usually cannot uh, well survive the winter here. And when you pick a black raspberry, the cap will stay on the that's on a the that's a blackberry. So the, the, so I mean, a, like a, a yeah, blackberry, blackberry. Yes, yes. A black a, raspberry is yes. Right. Blackberry, you'll have the whole yeah. fruit there, including yeah. The, yeah. the cap. Um, okay, what else? Uh, this person in Morton County sees lovely tall green raspberries with no fruit. What is that all about? Rob. They, 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 they tall green raspberry plants that have no fruit. Probably, every, every year or? Probably they can't survive the winter. They're that's all, they're a, that's all a, yeah, that's primal kings. Yeah, they're that's all tall primal kings. Yeah. Didn't survive the they, winter. Maybe they're blackberries even. Yeah, they can, cannot produce, yeah. Okay, how about, uh, there was a question about, is it like ice wine where the longer you leave it on the bush, when it freezes, does it get super sweet? Like, do you want like, the raspberries like to freeze? Hmm. Uh, I, I, we <laughs> never tried those. <laughs> but that's, you know, as far as that freezing, it's, I think it's worth mentioning that these these uh, fall bearing types. The most important consideration is earliness, right? And that is you know, like like heritage. The, the common variety will not no. ripen in time in North right. Dakota. Right. Mm -hmm. How about uh, some of this person's raspberries have white sections on the fruit? On an individual fruit, you see some white. That's white to, to a place. That's uh, in southern uh, area. They have a they have lot, lot of those issues. Someone said it's probably it's a, it's a, it's a damaged by the sun. Yes. But someone did think probably it's damaged by the unbalanced nutrients or those kind of things. But there, there are still some research is going on. That's a big issue on blackberry. Yeah, but yes, sun scald is yes, definitely yeah, one yeah, issue yeah, there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, last call for any questions. And you talked about the spotted winged drosophila. Mm -hmm. The early ripening berries mm -hmm. are usually best because yeah, you can avoid, harvest them avoid, before the yeah. drosophila gets mm -hmm. active. But after a while, and also no. one suggestion about SWD and uh, in research conducted by, uh, I believe the South Carolina or somewhere, oh. they, they suggest when you find the SWD in your field, the first spring you need to increase the uh, intense intensity. Of spring? The, yeah, of spring. Yes. That will control uh, the whole population increases right. fast. Yeah, it's very, very important. They, they, they have that one. And also, to taking care of the SWD, you need to harvest almost, uh, almost all ripened berries. Do not leave any overripened berry in the field. Yeah, we've got a nice publication about integrated pest management of spotted winged Drosophila, and it covers all kinds of techniques okay. for monitoring for it, using traps, mm -hmm. and spray recommendations, mm -hmm. using uh, uh, short-lived sprays mm -hmm. because you're spraying when the fruits are ripening. Mm -hmm. So you have to use a spray that can only persist for a day or so. Mm -hmm. And so use that as a resource, but that is definitely a, a pest of major significance. And and here I have some information about how to management how to manage the SWD. Just read this one. And the first one is harvest fruit on schedule, yes. destroy infested fruits, and reduce population of wild hosts in the surrounding area. 
to the other other uh, soft fruits and uh, grow earlier ripening cultivar to avoid swd and open foliage canopy and may help and uh, then last last one is protect the fruit with some mesh net netting some or, netting yeah. very fine meshing yeah. uh just we're just going to wrap it up here but just uh how long does a raspberry patch live in North Dakota? Uh, individually, for commercial raspberry pr production, usually we refresh the planting every, it used to be every 10 years, right now yeah. it's every uh, seven or six years yeah. because of the virus infection yeah. issue. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Virus are major issues after about seven years. Yeah. And uh, I think, and living mulches or cover cropping that would work well in a yes. raspberry plant yes yeah okay there you go okay i'm gonna we're gonna shut it down with that stay on time tonight and david thank you, thank you. very interesting uh, talk thank okay. you very much yeah.